Hey guys, it's Rocket, and as you guys noticed that there has been like a complete overall update, Re not recently, but like, I guess like, I guess like towards the beginning of March or probably the end of February, somewhere around there, that they had this really huge overall. I mean, I have the patch notes right here. Honestly, mainly it's because like the, the um, optimization of NV and V. Okay, good thing I can read. <laughs> but um, I've been using like um the NVENC encoder for a while for recording and it looked like since they made that overhaul they made like where they improved the performance and reducing system and resource impact um there's plenty of videos that like explain like how it worked for before and how it works now and also they added like on um, two two new features for recording and how your video looks visual tuning vis cycle visual tuning which i had no clue about and actually a good thing i'm reading it now enables encoder settings that optimize the use of bitrate and increase Preserve visual quality. Ooh, that sounds nice. Especially with high motion, because I play a lot of FPS games. And then look ahead and enables dynamic beef. Wait, what? Dynamic? Oh, I'm turning that off. I don't want dynamic B frames. But anyways, back to this. Um, they made a huge overhaul with OBS. But mainly the Infinic encoder was basically um the main point. But what I really want to show you is something that's really cool with um VBR. I don't know if any of you guys use VBR, but this is, but really ever since they made that overhaul, I noticed something with VBR. And first I want to explain like the difference between CBR and VBR. So basically VB, CBR is constant bit rate. VBR is variable bit rate. Con and honestly, this actually just explains it all. But in short, constant bit rate, if, um, I guess if I can, wish I can, wish I can draw, but like, I don't know. But if constant bit rate, it means like it'll be constant like this blue bar, like very constant. But then like, so whatever bit rate you set it to, the constant bit rate will just be constantly that bit rate forever. So if your bit rate was like one, it will be stay one throughout the whole video. Now variable bit rate, it's on the other hand, is where it's gonna give you that target, you want to have the average bit rate, but then like if it needs more bit rate or lower bit rate, and it just goes to the lower bit rate if it need, doesn't need any um, detail, or if it's more detail, it's just gonna go up, or, up higher. That's like, I'm going to put like these two websites in the description, make it a lot easier. And like, this is like a good explanation of VBR and also the, the, uh, yeah, yeah, the OBS update. Now I'm going to OBS and show you something. I'll go to settings, output, and even though, so keep in mind, ah, oh, shit, I can't do that. You know, I'm just going to launch, let me take this down launch OBS again sorry about that honestly like you guys notice you may notice that there's like a new a new um OBS like not new OBS but new NVIDIA encoder where it had in parentheses new well, let me just launch another one because that's what we usually do yes hopefully it works will it let me no yes no Apply. okay yes it will Okay, so, well, um, you guys noticed that there's an X264. We only use that for streaming. The old NVENC. Here's the old NVENC. You can rescale your output. And here's VBR. Well, actually, well, I forgot it implements that. But the VBR now has a max bit rate. So, for new VBR, this is just like shows like um, the new NVENC settings. But anyways, VBR in the past with OBS only use one bit rate, just literally one bit rate for VBR. And before the update, I switched to that, see if it give me somewhat better quality. I set it to at least four forty thousand for the top for the on target, and it actually like somehow for some reason it uploaded my files a lot faster on YouTube. I don't know why, but but now it has we have a max bit rate, so some people would do like four forty hundred. 400 and then like 600 right now i'm just doing like 300 i mean 300 because that's just minimal for 1080p or at least 25 some people can just do like 25 and 30 30 will be fine but this is like fine for me because i'm not i don't really i just want to like have like a nice decent i don't want to go too high i don't want to like have max big ass files you know but this is simple this is really good 300 and 400 400 for max bitrate because like you want to like have at least a decent amount 
but you know i really like how they have like a very this this is what it means by variable bitrate now if they have minimal bitrate that will help as that'll help as well keep really keep your quality but then of course cbr constant bitrate that's the only bitrate you stick with and vbr that's the that's your average bitrate and then the highest you want it to go to you have it to like a mil, one billion but best to have it like at least around for 1080p so I guess I can just like on a this is just for 1080p though um if you want to do 40 4k or at least 720p you might want to adjust this but then for the rest of my settings it's just keyframe rule 2 even though that's like a requirement for streaming but it really does help for like recording a lot especially especially if you want to like have honestly it's like think about skipping frames skip a couple frames and then like it'll help it'll help that much but then if you want to do like something like hearthstone set it to four but right now i'm sending it to because i do a lot of action games preset obviously max quality and then profile high because main is just like works decent on my computer or streaming at least so here's the look ahead and look ahead of course we don't we don't turn that off and then cycle visual tuning that helps as well actually this this is actually what you want just cycle visual tuning as explained slightly slightly explained earlier then gpu if you have multiple gpus and then your max b frames at two which we all want we all want for our nvink encoders now if you have amd it's okay to use the amd v-sync i think they have the same for e for amd i'm unsure because i never owned a amd gpu i was about to back when i first started building my pc but who knows but anyways this is all i wanted to show you this is this is real nice for uh, NVIDIA to show. Now for VBR, this, but this is what I recommend for uh, 1080p. I if you want me to do a video on like, maybe like the recommended bit rates for streaming and recording, please let me know, like the video. And if you, and if there's anything else you want to request me to do, comment right in the comments down below. But anyways, this is all I want to show you today, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll, I'll exit this out and see you guys later.